Did someone say squat PR? Yes, that's right. I got a squat PR today. Now, today's PR was 100 kg times 10 reps, ATG high bar, and I'm really happy with this. Now, I, I was really getting unmotivated with the high rep squat, squats, but I managed to pull out a PR out of nowhere with the 100 kg. Now, I we're going to move back on the 5x5 five five and forget about high reps now. We're going to build back into my 1RM period. Now, I don't know how I managed to get the PR today. Once I hit 5 reps on 100kg, I was basically done. I was like, I was about to walk back in, but then I was like, I'll squeeze another rep out. And I just kept, kept thinking that, get another rep. I've hit 8. That's uh, my squat PR of 100 before. Now I just keep doing another rep. And then I got the 10. And that was it. I walked back in after that. I don't think I would have got up another rep. So I'm really happy with that. I do think I could have pushed the 15. Either that day or in a few weeks. But I want to go back onto a strength block. And that's what I'm doing right now. So we're moving back into 5 times 5 And... My new goal is 160 kg. Big goal, but I've got it. Now, a few things I've been not focusing on is ankle mobility and upper back mobility. I think they're really holding me back right now. I've kind of let those go again, which is really annoying. But that's just the thing that happens in training. When you push other stuff, you let other stuff go. Because I was pushing my deadlift, I kind of left my ankle mobility and upper back mobility to feed. But here is 100 kg. This is my warm up rep. So I did one single with this. And then that was it. And then I moved on to my arm wrap set. So make sure you stick around and comment what you think of my PR. And here we go 100 kg times 10, 1000 kilograms in total poundage. Or whatever that is in pounds i don't know i can't be bothered adding that up but as you can see the first five reps were pretty simple straightforward one after another but after five i had to take a breather then do it again then take a breather and do it again and uh, that was my mindset just keep going now i was getting a lot of comments saying i've gotten weaker since trying to do this but look at that obviously I've built strength and I've been able to push to get PRs. So here's to all the haters that commented that on some of my posts and stuff. Here we are with a PR. Let's see you guys do that. Then I did a back off set with 60 kilograms, which I probably shouldn't have done because I was absolutely wrecked and have had the DOMs for a full week after this. Obviously, I filmed this a week ago. But the DOMs were crazy. I was sore for so long. And it's really it's really interesting soreness. It's not like pain. It's just sore. You know, you struggle to go into a squat. And even just bending over feels sore in the muscles. So I did some back extensions after just to end it. And that was my entire workout. I didn't want to push very hard after that. Because I knew I was going to have a lot of soreness. So here we have 30 kilograms and just getting the reps out to get some recovery into the back. So peace out and I'll see you in the next one.